This bike is the business. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it is cool. We drove all the way to Specialized in Surrey today to talk about a new bike. But it's a name you'll know, the Stump Jumper, which has been around forever. Well, 1981 it's been around, not forever, but long enough. I was trying to think of how many iterations there have been on the way down, thinking I'd have a nice little snippet of information for the video, but Specialized have made it too easy because they've called this the Stump Jumper 15, the 15th iteration of a bike we all know. Mm. We love what well, I love. I'm a massive fan of the previous three iterations that I've, I've owned many bikes of. Um, and this is all new, but also very similar. So what you'll see here is two S-Works variants of the Stump Jumper 15 that we're gonna have a go on. Um, the big thing to note, whenever people launch a new bike, there's always a geometry change. There's always an incremental or dramatic change in head angle bottom bracket height there isn't that for this we're talking millimeters of change and they've still got the same adjustments train stay head to head, to head angle and wheel size wheel size um as the last stumpy yeah but yeah. the biggest change maybe aesthetically you'll notice is the lack of the asymmetric brace and a much bigger linkage here, a much bigger, chunkier rocker link to make up for the lack of mm. stiffness provided by it. So stiffness is virtually the same, isn't it? Stiffness is the same. But now but you can see the shock. You can see the shock and there's a much lower standover height. Ah, yes. It's like 20 mil. 20 mil lower. lower. So you can get such a long dropper. And then the shock is the dramatic bit. You'll That's see all the marketing thing. speak, all the marketing jargon on is this new genie shock from Fox. Proprietary specialised collaboration yeah, so, type so. thing with a very clever, once you see a diagram, you'll understand it, but it's got a piston that passes off, passes by a port, closes off. Like a secondary air chamber. Secondary air chamber and yeah. makes it more rampy, essentially. So, yes, yeah, so it means early in the travel, you've got quite, it's quite supple. I guess it's like a yeah. big air can shock early on and then late, it's like a small air can shock, so more ramp. And they've thrown all sorts of numbers out there. Yeah. Marketing speak maybe but also maybe not because they're releasing a paper that explains all of these figures the testing behind it and what they've done to back it up basically back it yeah. up back it up these there's, crazy there's numbers a lot of science so 50 percent more traction was that one of them uh it's something it's an amount more 16.3 percent more bump something or other yeah it deals with big bumps 16 and 39 percent more bottom out resistance something that's it yeah crazy numbers mm incredible steps if they're actually tangible numbers so yeah. we're going to go and ride them and see what we think of the bike mm. it's looking good isn't it it looks I great think, yeah yeah and the, the spike spec it's such a cool <laughs> new yeah. wheels yes new traverses that look crazy more. like like crank brother synthesis so hopefully the compliance that that brings with it mirror saddle yeah, sl right. chain cassette on the yeah S -works. you get lighter chain Maven brakes on a trail bike, it's super crazy. excited about huge, that. Yeah, correct. Big brakes. It's got the new swap box as well. Oh, yeah, go on. actually, it's, it's been on, it came out on the new Epic, didn't it? Came out on the new Epic. It's so much nicer. It's interesting that this is my idea, wasn't it? Yeah, Steve invented, I think, the stump jumper, didn't you? No, I invented attaching the pump to the bottom of it. Right. When so. I say invented it, I googled it and found yeah. how to do it. But they now come, I'm assuming, a standard. I well, mine know. hasn't got one, and I'm pretty hacked off about that, but. Um, I'm saying standard. Yeah, good for you. You haven't even got a pump to attach to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but there's potential. So that's quite a nice thing. A brink bottles in it, and we're ready to ride. Let's do it. I'm sure it wasn't meant to be that way. <laughs> there's a the traction there. Oh, it's so loose. This bike is the business. Shall there's no trees. Oh, it's cool. Ooh. Oh, it is cool. Right. That was cool. I, I didn't do that track though. Whatever we did then, that was the that was the coolest. Yeah. 
This is quite a bike. Yeah. You know what? It it probably should, shouldn't it? But it feels a bit like a Levo in terms of like composure. Do you reckon? Yes, I know what you mean. Like it feels like it like it like kind of well planted and controlled and stuff. Not as not as skittish as a normal analog bike. Where a Levo is very I can't think of a better word than compose. Yeah. This is. Well, a Levo, and not like most of these bikes, it sits into the travel. Yeah. Because of the weight. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's the genie allowing you to sit into the travel. Yeah, you're at a without better, yeah. blowing through it. It's like e bike mode, e bike traction mode. So pedals like an epic, you think? I'm amazed at how this is climbing. I know it's on the road, but this feels exactly how my XC bike feels. When you say that, what do you mean? That it doesn't like, bob? There's so little bobbing. Like, it bobs the same amount as my epic, I reckon. This is like, obviously the bars are higher and wider and the tires are draggier, but it's just like if I put bigger bars and draggier tires on my epic, this is unreal. That's quite an accolade, isn't it? We did it. We rode them. No, you've, you've ridden more of an old stump jumper than I have. I have. Um, There's a few standout differences. The shock, like Will said a few times on this ride, it feels super composed. Like it feels yeah. like you're sat into it, like like an e-bike. It, it with felt the weight like sitting in an e-bike. Yeah. So it feels composed, but it's not heavy like an e-bike because it's super no, no. light. And Will was talking about yeah, so you can still players. yank it out of corners, that kind of thing. Obviously, because it's not an e-bike. But yeah, it's. Um, it's weird. It's weird. It didn't, it didn't feel on edge, basically. We probably rode it in the edgiest conditions we could. Tires yeah, we definitely. don't know, on super uh, hard, yeah. dusty ground, and I didn't feel like I was on edge. It was quite no, close. No, no, no. I think I would see the new one and want the new one because I love the old one so much. But now? But I do. Good. So that's, there we go. that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, so we've sold one bike already. Is that a, that's a percentage. Yeah, that's 100% increase. 100% increase on wanting what I thought. to buy the bike. I was going to want to yeah. buy the bike. That's, that is a figure. Yeah, if that's anything to go by. But what we do need to do is put it against back to back it with back the older. Back to back yeah. with the older. We do. We absolutely do. Same track. Same, same bag. track. Probably same tyres. Maybe same tyres, like you said. Keep your eyes peeled <laughs> on this YouTube channel in X amount of days. Oh yeah, X percentage of days yeah. from there. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> well done Specialised, great bike.